What's happening everyone? It's Abdallah here, back again with another awesome Nintendo preview. Today's video is showcasing the game Blue Fire. Now shoutouts to our friends over at Roby Studios and Graffiti Games for providing a code for us today. We're gonna give you a couple moments of what exactly this game is. Now if you guys have ever played The Legend of Zelda before, or Wind Waker specifically, you guys are gonna be right at home with this game. It's gonna be so much fun. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start up a new file named File. We're gonna go on Recommended Difficulty. And I'm gonna show you what it is. Now, uh, if you guys like platformers, if you like hacking and slashing, and like a little bit of puzzle elements throughout the games, then you guys are gonna be right at home. So thanks so much for watching. Yeah, we've got about, I think we'll get to maybe one dungeon uh, within the amount of time for this preview. So welcome to it. Thanks so much for being here. Now, you guys can absolutely download this game on Nintendo Switch eShop and play along with. It's a single player campaign in like a dark fantasy world. And like, trust me, I've played a little bit of this off screen and I am in love with the graphics and the aesthetics and the like pseudo Zelda gameplay style of it because I haven't played a Zelda game in a long time. And this is like really, really making me feel right at home with it, so. Anyway, sit back, relax, I'll tell you guys what exactly this game is all about, and don't forget to definitely take a look at uh, downloading the game and playing along with. Now you can get the game on Steam if you wanted to, other platforms as well, uh, but we're going to be playing on Nintendo Switch today, so handheld mode, in case you guys are uh, you know going on a flight somewhere, you can absolutely jump into it, and I know that's what I'm going to be doing, absolutely. So anyway, I'll show you guys how to play, it's super easy. Actually, it's not super easy. Some parts are really, really hard. Um, but as you can see, you have your little character over here. The entirety of the game has a whole bunch of different tutorials where you can kind of inspect and like move the camera by uh, using the right stick. Uh, you can jump in the air. You can uh, hack and slash a whole bunch of different things, which is very fun. And it's got the same kind of uh, lock-on system like the uh, like Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, like way back in the day, like Z-targeting, L-targeting. Like it's all there. So yeah, if you guys are, have ever played any of those games, you're going to be right at home with this one. So um, other than that, you can jump in the air freely and then you can actually press the ZR button to dodge forward or to dash forward. And it's just overall really, really cool that um, you can do that. So the game is kind of, um, it doesn't really tell you where to go, but you have to kind of inspect different areas and kind of look around to see what is available. You'll notice a lot of different locked doors. You'll notice that some doors open up and you'll also notice that there's a door with a key, of course. So once you find the key, then that's exactly where you have to go. So this beginning section is really all about learning the ropes of the game. Um, slicing through, you can notice that you're gonna be picking up different currencies and then just overall making your way through the different story in order to find out what exactly happened to this area. Like what exactly is this gigantic vessel of souls that's required? Like what is going on? So once you're done learning about like all the different platforming skills of this game, like it's just, it just opens up. It opens up a lot of possibilities. And there's a lot of RPG elements too in the, oh, too in the game that I really, I was just about to fall, <laughs> that I really enjoy uh, because uh, you can see over here, you start off with four hearts and then you've got some other little currencies out here and it's just it's really fun so i'm just gonna come over here and grab oh not that yet all right so we got to do some battles and the battles are gonna be great because i am all about the uh the targeting the targeting system is real fun so target right onto that guy this dude oh he totally sliced me that's all right slice me wow yo this guy's slicing me up all right i'm gonna let him do his thing all right, one, two, attack, and then I'm just gonna come in for the slicing. Oh my gosh! If this guy destroys me, oh, I can heal by pressing up on the D-pad. There we go. So if you press up on the D-pad, you can use your revert, uh, uh, reserve healing. And once you do that, then you're all set. And you can pick up some more like little healing vials or healing abilities a little bit later on. So we're gonna grab this. This is a shield, a piece of magical armor crafted by the fire guards, protects uh, from damage and reflects darkness. So if you press the A button, you have like an overshield now. Uh, but you can only use that when you're standing still. So it's interesting. All right, right over here is going to be our old key, which we can use in order to open up that one door. So let's go run over and uh, pick up our key and see if we can pop open that door. And I do want to show you one of the uh, one of the little voids. Or, um, you know, so like I use a lot of parables to The Legend of Zelda. So yes, of course, I've played Zelda many, many times. Oh! Great, died. <laughs> so that's how, that's how you die. 
Um, so other than playing uh, Zelda a whole bunch of times, like I, I have a lot of similarities to it because it's like that's just like, my go-to. That's my thing. And what I like about this game is the whole concept of keys and the keys opening up more doors, and it's just it's just a really awesome change, change of pace. And normally, like, dude, Link can't, like, dash and jump in midair. Like, this guy's got way more skills. So, yeah, I'm really excited to see... Like, honestly, I haven't played too far into the game. I'm really excited to see, like, all the different abilities and stuff. So if you press plus, you can see that you have so many different items that you can kind of carry. Um, there's key items over here, like fire essence. Like, I don't even know what that is yet. Um, you got different weapon slots over here. Uh, there's going to be different tunics, a shadow cloak... And then uh, you have, like, a concept of spirits, which I'm very intrigued for. Like, I want to legit keep on playing to find out what these are. There's, like, locked spirits. Um, journal with the different quests. And then all that other stuff. So, very, very uh, intriguing for me, I would say. So, since we got the key, we're going to go over here and use said key. And once we've opened this, we should be able to find our next little area. So, I'm going to heal up a little bit. Here's some guy. I'm just gonna not gonna I'm not gonna mess around with him. We're just gonna beat him up real quick and take his little currencies over here. And so you'll notice that I'm doing like a little bit of a dash jump, which is like the fastest way to move throughout places. So it's fun. It's fun. So now what I'll show you uh, right over here is this is going to be a fire guard named Vaughn, and yeah, he's here. He says, "For a very long time, I've been waiting for you." My name is Vaughn. I'm the last of the fire guards, the only survivor of the Firekeep raid. For centuries, I've carried out what seems to be a senseless task. I have protected this abandoned keep in the name of the guards. I have protected a hopeless faith, but now you're here. Uh, Penumbra awaits your blade, warrior. Time is slipping through our hands as we speak. That glowing stone behind you, that is a void entrance. Throughout your journey, you'll come upon many more void entrances. These gates are links to a forgotten realm, uh, know as the Void. Uh, it is uh, where ancestors trained. You must seek as many Void entrances as you can. Through them, embrace the Void and seek our ancestors' power. Uh, only through this will you be able to prove your worth and claim the secret power of the guards. Warrior of Light and Shadow, when the time comes, we shall meet again. So, like, yeah, reminds me of Sheik, sure. But... Um, like I was saying, the parables of Zelda with this one is like, here's like a dungeon that you just jump into. And the cool thing about this is that like, it's a little bit of a platforming dungeon and not necessarily too much of a puzzly dungeon. So that's right up my alley. And with these voids, you're just, uh, you're tasked with collecting all these different little orbs, these little light orbs. And you can see in the top corner, it says like 30, uh, yeah, three out of 30. So we're gonna get four out of 30. And what we want to do is collect every single one of them inside this void little abstract uh, platforming puzzle in order to get even more hearts. And that's kind of how you get hearts in this game. So if we get all of them, we should be rewarded pretty heavily with a brand new heart, which will allow us to uh, survive a couple more hits, especially if we uh, take some leaps of faith that are not good. So you can see some moving platforms here. I want to make sure I get this right because if you fall into a hole or like a bottomless pit, you lose two hearts. So yeah, you don't want to you don't want to mess that up. So let me see if I can do some more dash jumps. There we go. Yeah, the physics in this game are actually very tight as well. Like I, I really appreciate that. Like when you're just dashing and jumping, there's a lot of uh, things that could go wrong, but they don't. It's pretty natural. It's pretty smooth. We're just going to come right over this way, and we're going to see where this takes us. So let's see if we can get... We could finish up this void, at least for the preview. Because the more that you explore in Penumbra... Or Penumbra, I think that's the name of the place. Um, the more that you explore, the more of these voids are going to be available to you. And then you have to do these little puzzle-solving things in order to get more things unlocked and find different keys. And then, like, the entire world just kind of opens up for you. Which is really fun. And like, honestly, I was playing a little bit of this off screen. I'm like, wow, this is this is really cool. Like, let's see where this takes us. All right, so we got four more. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I see him right in front of me. So let's make this jump. One, two, three, 
and four. That's 30 for 30. We're gonna jump in here, we're gonna claim it. Done. Sweet. So, as you can see over here, boom, we got our fifth heart. So that means that we can fall potentially two times and survive and not die. So yeah, super fun. All right, I'll show you guys a little bit more of this preview. Um, trust me, like I would wanna play this game all day. Uh, so Enter the Void is a main quest completed. So that's perfect. All right, so now if you take a look at your quests, uh, complete all the voids is going to be one main quest. And there's gonna be like so many more that as you're gonna come across. So in about 10 minutes, got to the first void. And then once you do so, um, you'll be able to find out like all these different places that open up for you, right? So we did that void. We can kind of like run over here and see what else is going on. There's obviously some, uh, some different crevices where I don't necessarily want to drop. Um, it's really cute. Like you could do like little emotes uh, in the game and you can buy more emotes. There's just a lot of like little cutesy stuff that you can do too, which is really fun for me. Uh, I guess I'll do, I'll go, oh, maybe I'll do one more thing. Can I do this part? Yeah, yeah, I like, okay. I like this part, so I'm gonna show it to you. <laughs> yeah, this part's really cool. So the, the camera pans up to like a gated area, right? So you're like, okay, I gotta go over there. Easy, easy. So I'm gonna destroy this dude and his little slugs. Oh, ooh, actually, actually, oh man. Dude, so I'm locking on, okay, 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 no more, no more. We're done. All right, I'm gonna take care of the slug first. All right, now I'm gonna take care of him. Oh, he's got a buddy. A buddy slug? No. We don't. It's only three slices on the slug. Dude, this guy's reach is insane. All right, let me just allow him to attack. Ooh, wow, oh my gosh, help me. Okay, I'm gonna finish him. And I have like no health. I have zero health. And I have, I ran out of like little recovery potions, but that's okay, don't worry. I didn't die and that's all that matters. So I'll show you this part. As long as I don't touch this like malice on the wall, I'll be fine. So uh, once you've mastered the jump controls and like the little jump dash controls, like you're gonna be golden at this game. And that's kind of what I really like. Like I love platformer games, like I really do. So I got a fire essence, I got some more of these little currencies. Like platformer games are like really what I like, you know, like Mario and all that stuff. So let's do this. I'm gonna hit the switch. And now this gate, uh, you can't jump backwards or maybe you can jump backwards. I don't know, maybe. Oh my gosh, did I just cheese that? I absolutely cheesed that. Wow, I don't, <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to start from the very bottom and fall all the way down because you can't normally uh, jump backwards. You're supposed to jump on those boxes and a little bit of a timer. So yeah, I left one box alive and then I uh, worked outside the box. It was great. Anyway, so here's kind of a, another hub area, which is pretty fun. I'm gonna actually die, so I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna be, meet those guys. It's like a little hub area where you can see all these different areas that are kind of boarded up and they'll open up over time. But right now it's like, okay, well, how do I get over to that staircase? And how do I get over to uh, some other different areas? And it's just gonna be an overall good time. So yeah, yeah, so that's it, that's it. What do you guys think? Dude, this game is good. And I kid you not, I am going to be playing this game off screen and it's going to be so much fun. So anyway, shout outs again to our friends um, over at Roby Studios and Graffiti Games for uh, allowing me to play this game for you guys. The game is out right now. You can get it on Nintendo eShop. Uh, pick that up, play it, send me some screenshots of what you think, and let me know in the comments uh, overall of what you think of the aesthetic. I'm getting a lot of like Wind Waker meets Twilight Princess vibes. I hear a lot of people comparing it to uh, Hat in Time, which is a game I haven't played, but... Overall, looks really, really sharp. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this preview. Uh, definitely let me know what you thought about the video in the comment section below, and we'll talk to you guys on the next one. Take care.